Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with a tortoise. Today I felt like my brain is feeling a bit slow, okay? What that means, that means we need a slow steady pace. So why not to take with a tortoise uh, with extremely great DPM of a tank, right? But not the quickest vehicle in the world of tanks. What do you think about that? I think it will work great for us, at least that's what I want to believe. Meanwhile, we have two engines, Tortoise engine and the T-30 engine. I'm not entirely sure if this gentleman is helping for us, but we'll see. Uh, meanwhile, fellas, this vehicle is absolute powerhouse. Although it's not my favorite tank in the game, I understand the power of this vehicle and I would never ever say this tank is a bad tank, right? So what, do we, what did this vehicle has? 400 alpha damage, great. 260 millimeters of penetration with the standards, awesome. If you are loading gold, you have 230 millimeters of the penetration, right? Which is absolutely um, amazing. 326, right? Uh, it's very, very good and plus better shell velocity. And if you are meeting the tanks, you can penetrate easily. You can actually load the high explosive ammunition, so intuition is kind of necessary on this skill uh, on this tank. Although speaking about the intuition, I do not have one unfortunately. I forgot to retrain the crew for this, but for a second game, I believe we are going to be very intuitive, if I can say so. Okay, speaking about the fun and good things, uh, Skodas, how are you doing, fellas? Enjoying yourself? Nice. Have a good one and let's have a fight. They cannot do shit for me because their gun handling is horrible. And I'm not joking. The gun handling of the Skodas are absolutely laughable. And even though both of those guys are playing in platoon, I couldn't care less about that. We are just going in. And this is what this vehicle is capable of doing. And this is what this tank can do. I don't know how I penetrated him, but I do not have a silly goose questions asked. Meanwhile, as you can see, Skodas are running for their life. And this is actually a smart decision from their side, because if they are going to sit here, we are going to farm them. Um, are they going to escape? More likely not. But um, um, I need to give a credit for this decision to simply say, OK, I had enough of it. Thank you very much. See you never. You know, that was a smart decision from their side. Anyway, st speaking about the smart decisions, SMV managed to escape as well. So give him hooray for this gentleman. And at this point, we are going to say hello for the E75. I know I'm in the open field against the Waffle. I am very, very well aware of that, but we are still feeling fine. I think at this point I kind of must load the gold in order to eliminate this E75. I think this is the correct decision. In fact, we are going to... Ah, you smart bugger. You are very, very, very smart bugger. He was waiting until I will turn my side and then he decided to shoot me. Very, very good decision, fellas. There is nothing to say and nothing to do. Now, speaking about the waffle, waffle can shred us like hot knife through the butter. There is nothing to say and nothing to do. Um, it is the correct decision from this gentleman's side as well, obviously. Okay. Good. We are still feeling fine. And this squad is in the garage. Beautiful. Okay, that is the start, fellas. That is the start. Um... Now, do I want to go for a base defense or not? This is the main question. What do I want to do? Because I have a feeling if I would go like this, I would eliminate the squad and after that, I think I could farm this E75. At least that's what I want to believe. I think this is the correct uh, option. What's up? Okay, we want to relocate like this. I hope I won't take one, but probably I will. Luckily, he did not react it properly. Okay. At this point, we are gaming, and at this point, we are definitely playing. Uh, now, the question is, where are the other sniper schnitzels? Okay, we have two big boy tank destroyers sitting over there. I have no doubts whatsoever they are sitting around this area. The question is, is it worth for us to make pressure? This is the main question which I have at this point. Is it actually worth for us to make pressure? Meanwhile, on once again, not a big surprise, Waffle should sit around this area. So 
so we are going for a blind shots and hopefully we are going to find him somewhere here hopefully this could have been direct yet i need to pay attention do we see the splash or not we definitely see the splash okay understood how about this can we see the splash yes we can see the splash how about a bit to the left side yes you can see there is absolutely nothing what we can change about this i kind of need to go for a base defense i was a bit lazy in this situation okay i need to admit it i am a lazy mother tracker and um, i thought eh i don't need to go for a base defense maybe we can find uh, the damage uh, somehow easy here no 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 we cannot Ooh, or maybe we can and maybe we will okay if i would be this object this would be the time and i would shit my pants because peeking against the peeking against the tortoise is not the easiest thing to do the things okay i can promise you that at this point we are just playing farming simulator he cannot do absolutely anything he can only look at us while being angry that's about it that's all this gentleman can do about this and i can't blame him for that how are you doing unfortunately bounce but that's okay he might penetrate me okay uh, quite a bad trade here i did not really wanted to take one for the team but oh well it is how it is we are not going to cry over that and we are going to accept everything like a big boys right that's what we are going to do okay so what is the chance of mr p30 trying to get involved like this now this is the biggest question what is the chance of mr t30 getting involved because this is exactly what i want to get uh, in order to obviously pump the score quite a bit when i'm playing with a tortoise uh, believe me or not i am aiming to get 4000 combined as a beer minimum because this tank is capable of delivering this right even though it might look skill 4000 with a tortoise yes 4000 with tortoise is an average it sounds um pretty reasonable okay can i go for a base i don't really think i want to that is the problem in this game fellas my biggest problem is i am not entirely sure how i should where i should play if you know what i mean i decided to go into the heavy line which is smart and greedy in the same time why is it greedy you might ask well answer is simple i cannot return or if i will make a decision to go for a base defense it will take forever and ever that's what i am thinking wait in this situation we are being patient that is all i want to do be patient or not so much or maybe not my girlfriend still fall asleep every night listening to your voice get a head set you mother tracker don't make your girlfriends tortured okay fellas you know what uh i appreciate you uh involving me into your family life i am i very very much appreciate that but boys and girls ladies and gentlemen get a headset so you won't um take one for your uh, one for the team from your girlfriends if you know what i mean okay wait we need to figure out how to do this right okay what is the correct decision for us Шкода. 
Škoda, Škoda, Škoda. If I could cross like this, what is the chance I can eliminate Mr. Škoda? Now this is the hardest part of all this. Either I will be successful or either I will be dead and I'm up to take the risk. So far it looks like we are going to be successful. Good. Very, very good. Excellent, I would say. I don't really think the Škoda relocated. Ooh, Kampanzer, how are you doing? Are you enjoying yourself? One more. dead now I need to check out this angle and there is a big chance the Škoda will go on our ass what is the chance he's going on our ass already let's see not really not really That is surprising, if you would ask me. Okay, we have our 4000, and this is one of those rare games we are... We are actually playing for more than 10 minutes. Can you imagine that? This is rare, fellas. This is actually pretty rare, if you would ask me. Okay, our board is trying to get closer. Now the thing is, this T-30 is supporting the Škoda, okay? If I will go in front, this T-30 is going to spank me. And I do not really want to allow him to do that. This is very important thing to say. Where he could be? If I would be T-30, where the flying F I would be? I mean, he can be here next to the red line, he can be here, he could even relocate here. Patience. Patience, patience, patience. That's what, we, that's what I can say. Unfortunately, I cannot teleport in front and spank them all. So, we need to simply wait until enemies will mess up. That's what we need to wait. I am not getting spotted. Okay, fine, fair enough. What is the chance of him sitting here? Not a big one. Okay, excellent. Oh, this is where T-30 was. Okay, now we know. All we need to do at this point, we need to get involved, but not in the very, very simple way. We are going to take this position here and we are going to say what's up. You know what is our DPM? Pretty good one, buddy. Pretty good one. See you never. Nice. And now we need to find Mr. Gusor. I have a feeling I'm not even going to move in pro... Never mind. Okay, everyone is extremely slow in this situation, okay? Fosh is traveling through the middle of the nowhere. Cover 4 is very, very slow. Love is slow. Progetto is slow. I know potentially I could sit here and wait until he would get spotted here. But in the same time, I have a feeling I have, um, I have a huge chance just to simply reach him and to be the living crap out of this gentleman, if obviously possible. Uh, now, am I happy with this game with the tortoise? I am pretty happy. I think... Uh, I think we did everything properly. I think we were patient. Uh, I think uh, everything went pretty damn well. Obviously, without our team, uh, we would be nothing, fellas. And we would obviously take one for the team. So, uh, in the same time, uh, let's get real. Our team simply played better than enemy team did. So, GG. GG for our team. Okay, one more for a full happiness. Come on, give me one more. Also, I think Tortoise is extremely friendly tank to play with because of the speed, in a way, right? And I think it is relatively hard to make a mistake whenever, whenever speed is so slow, in a way. What do I mean by saying that is whenever you have such a slow speed, it is hard to get in the front line and to be first one who is going to die. So, in the same time, uh, you can... Uh, you are pretty sure you are not going to be the first gentleman who is going to take one for the team. At least that's what I think and that's what I believe. Okay, what is the score? No, 
what do you have to show for us? Also, fellas, I was thinking about um, about couple of things and you will have uh, unique videos very, very soon. I really want to highlight this. Um, anyways, what do we have? We have a first class, hip hip hooray. We have a steel wall, we have the high caliber, 5.9 thousand damage. Oh my bananas, did I blind shoot at that waffle? What did I blind shoot at? Okay then, thank you very much, 5.9 thousand damage, 500 assisting damage, beautiful game, I think it was perfection. And all in all, we made quite a bit of credits as well, although I fired a couple of the gold shells as well. Anyways, uh, let's teleport to the round number two. Alright, Karelia encounter game. Well, that's quite a battle, I guess. What is the right decision for us to play this game? I have a feeling we are going to go and take... Wow, I could sit over there when I'm looking into this now. You know what? It's okay. We will survive. I was, I was thinking about one thing. I thought this is a standard game and I thought, okay, it's, there is no point to go <coughs> and play in the Delta 2 area. But oh well, oh well, I was definitely wrong doesn't really matter what we are going to do we are going to be very aggressive in this game tortoise is in a way push w tank and burst everyone with your um, dpm so this is what we are going to do now the hardest thing for us is probably to cross without getting completely slaughtered i hope they do not have the trash burn sitting here in the corner because if they do um, i am feeling very uh, sad about this or I will feel very sad about this okay let's see I hope we can farm him without losing too much of the damage if any I am just crossing through the middle at this point we are feeling all right we are getting sweet assisting damage which is always nice and always very very welcome plus on top of that we are just going to aim our shot and now we are going to spank him like there is no tomorrow this is exactly what I want to see excellent Okay, our team is doing quite a huge uh, clearing here, and even though if enemy art is trying to shoot us, uh, to be fair with you, I do not really mind. All I need to do, I need to keep making pressure for the enemies and we are going to be alright. Now, Estrava killed our Progetto. What that means? That means Estrava is sitting somewhere here, right? At least that's what I want to believe. Not a big deal, fellas, not a big deal. Now, this Progetto will have a quite a hard time to penetrate us at least that's what i want to believe especially if he is not spamming gold now if he is spamming gold this is not going to be as fun and this is not going to be that great i am just waiting until i am going to get spotted whenever i will get spotted i will shoot into the bush actually i can shoot into the bush before i will get spotted quite bad aim by me not much what i can change there though Okay, how about this Mr. Vaza sitting here on the corner? Are you still on the corner? No, he is not. Okay, he made a good decision to escape from here. That is very, very good decision by him. Because if he wouldn't go, uh, he would get slaughtered already. And now we are playing. Now you might think, skill, what do you mean we are playing? Well, you see, this Progetto is sitting in the deep, deep, deep shithole. Uh, he is going to get flanked by every possible shape and every possible form, so at this point all we need to do is to load high explosives. Look at this. Bam! Now Progetto might think, wait a second, what is that? What is that? Let's go for another high explosive. Bam! 200. I think I could spam high explosives at this point. Let's do that. Spamming high explosives it is. Boom! Unfortunately, we missed that. That's okay. Good, he is dead and now we can push him through. Now, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of snipers in the, in the enemy base, obviously. Do we care about this? Nah, we do not give a flying F. We are just making a hardcore pressure and I believe it is going to be absolutely amazing. I'm not going to go all the way around. I am going to go up front like this. And there is a humongous chance we are going to spot snipers here or snipers here. It doesn't really matter. Um, this game is not going to be a raw damage game, you know. 
Um, I would say this battle is going to be combined at score where we are going to do a lot of a lot of a lot of bad things for the enemies and this is exactly what I am looking for. And this is exactly what I'm looking for. Wow. Okay. Okay. Trash burn is sitting here in the back. Oh, that's what I needed for a full happiness. Oh, that is what I needed for a full happiness. And budget as well. 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 I did not saw that one coming. Call me dirty. I did not saw that one coming, fellas. And you know, I, I've seen a lot of things in the world of tanks, but like this, whoo, they got me well, they definitely got me well, okay, guys, can someone beat the living crap out of the Mr. Budget, it would be much appreciated, you know, him sitting in the middle, thank you, skill, you are always listening to me, thank you, you're awesome, okay, what to do now? How we can get involved and how we can spank the enemies like there is no tomorrow? This is the question. Object. I think object is going to be in the open field for us. I have a feeling, right? Uh, to be fair with you, not really. Well, and look, this battle is like full push W, right? It's not like we are stopping, it's not like we are sniping from the back, we are pushing W as much as we physically and possibly can, and still the score is far away from being uh, um, from being excellent, but those situations are happening, and once again, not everything is in raw damage. In this situation, we have 4.4 thousand, actually, speaking for mark of excellence, it would be 4.3 thousand, but speaking about the general score, it would be uh, 4.6 thousand, so it is not bad whatsoever, and I am feeling fine. And once again, fellas, remember in what kind of times we are playing, um, this is World of Tanks in 2022, so this is, this is what we have in the end of the day, right? It is okay. For a second battle for you, it is going to be completely fine. What do I mean second battle? Well, uh, I am mixing the order of the games. You know, I am playing three continuous battles, as you can see over there, but you will see this as a second game. Okay. So what do we have? We have okay score, we are first uh, by experience, we are fifth by the damage unfortunately, but all in all this is okay result considering how everything went for us. Okay, I have my intuition ready, I was working on the skills a bit, not fully trained but it's going to be better than um, to go for 5 seconds reload, right? so hopefully the things will look good. Um, I must admit one thing, I do not necessarily like how this situation is looking like here. Uh, skill, what do you mean you don't necessarily like it? Well, um, the heavy line is going to be absolutely ridiculous to play and I think it is going to be very, very, very hard uh, to deal with. So, um, I am actually considering my life choices by going here. Maybe it's just simply not worth it and maybe I could do something better. The thing is, if Super Conqueror will go hold down, I can go and eat Kaku. Uh, phase 1 will go hold down, load gold, I can kind of go and eat Kaku. Um, the Italian tank destroyer hold down, I can eat Kaku. You see what I, where I'm heading and what I'm saying? There is, it is a humongous risk for us. That's what I am thinking. And you know, at this point, I am still calm, I am still fine. But eventually, if we will see one of those tanks taking the hold down position, um, we will need to figure out how to do the things properly. And as you can see, Italian tank destroyer is going hold down instantly. But I have a feeling he's kind of alone here. Bad feeling. Oh, very bad feeling. Oh, very bad feeling. Oh, horrible feeling. Excuse me. I'm trying to go back for obvious reasons. I don't like the situation whatsoever. I don't want to play here anymore. See you never. Okay, look. I simply made the decision not to play here. I do not really like this whatsoever. And I do not want to fight against the hold down Italian tank destroyer. It's going to be a pixel sniping fiesta. Which I am not willing to do it's just simply not really worth it so instead of doing that 
we are going to make a bit of pressure here. I think it could work extremely, extremely well for us. And we can eliminate the Dildo tank and we can eliminate Progetto. Um, I don't really think this is a big deal for us. Plus on top of that, we have plenty of the support and we are going to go in at this point. At least that's what I believe. Excuse me. And now we are going to have a fiesta. And I truly mean it, fiesta, fellas. I will get spotted soon, but I do not really think I care too much about this. And now we are going to check out who has better DPM. Oh, better DPM. Please just bounce it. Oy, 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 how lucky I am. How lucky am I, fellas? How lucky am I? How are you doing? All I am doing in this kind of situation is I am trying to annoy this gentleman to the maximum, right? No, guys, time to snipe. Guys! Guys! Everyone left! Okay, okay, understood. Well, mistakes were made. Nothing to do, nothing to change. I decided to be aggressive and definitely my aggression did not pay off in this kind of situation. At least this is how it looks like, right? Oh my bananas, I thought I had sniper schnitzels in the back. I even said I have sniper schnitzels in the back, you know? I was so confident. I was so confident. I thought, yes, we are going to spank everyone like there is no tomorrow. Wow. Okay, mistakes were made. I am accepting this better luck next time. Well, and that was a mistake from my side. I, I decided to be aggressive and I found wild Jack Pizda sitting in the back. Not much what I can change about this, only 2000 DL, although 4000 blocked, I do not know how, but that was the case and in the end of the day our team won. Good for our team, how much this am I exported? Yeah, quite a bit, good game by him, okay? And now, fellas, you might wonder what is the average performance after this game or after this session. Not the best, fellas. Only 3.5 thousand damage and 1 thousand assisting damage, but that brings us for 4.5 thousand combined, and I definitely cannot complain about this. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a great time, and I hope you enjoyed yourself. The third game was the best wild Jack Pizda out of nowhere, but oh well, what can we do, right? Anyways, thank you very much for watching, have a good one, enjoy yourself and see you very very soon. Skills out for today, peace.